Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what is the reciprocal of negative fractions with square roots. Now, the important thing is when it comes to finding the reciprocals, that's actually not the hard part. But when you have square roots in there, whether it be positive or negative, it's a little bit tricky because you may be asked to express the answer in a certain form. So let's get right to it. Now, suppose you have the negative fraction, negative square root of 3 over 2. Now, obviously, you have the square root of 3 there. So you have a negative fraction with the square root there. Now, finding the reciprocal is pretty easy because the reciprocal is actually, as you know, you have to flip the fraction. So this will be negative 2 over square root of 3. So keep in mind that when you're finding the reciprocal of a negative fraction, it's also going to be negative. Now, the one thing you want to consider, though, is the square root of 3 that was in the numerator is now in the denominator. More often than not, you're not really supposed to leave the, de the radical in the denominator. So what you have to do is, if you haven't learned this already, is you have to rationalize the denominator. Now what that means here is you have to multiply the top and bottom by the denominator, square root of 3. So here's what happens. You have the negative still. You multiply across. 2 times square root of 3 is going to be 2 square root of 3. Now, here's the situation with the bottom. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's going to give you square root of 9. But as you know, square root of 9 is going to be 3. So in actuality, the denominator is just going to be 3, which leads me to another shortcut. If you have a square root of one number times the square root of the same number, you're just going to get the number without the radical. So the bottom line here is when you want to find the reciprocal of a negative fraction with the square root, you flip the radical down there in this case, but you have to rationalize to write it in acceptable form because more often than not, you'll be asked to write the radical in the numerator always, not really in the denominator. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that is the reciprocal of a negative fraction with the square root.